Great play from Liel Abada. Went for the toe poke there in the end. Morton managed to get enough defenders back. Checking a possible penalty for handball. It was Abada going in. Did that come uh, off the hand? Right, okay. Yeah. Well, we're a wee bit blended there with, with our angle, but... Your immediate reaction is to think, well, come on, his arm's by his side. Well, here we go. Kevin Clancy's had a look. He's given it. Goodness me. Listen, we'll take it. Celtic have a penalty. After about three minutes of deliberation between the VAR referee and Kevin Clancy, Dougie Emery shakes his head. And I must admit, I've got some sympathy. Aaron Moy, chief penalty taker after his strike at Easter Road. Chance to make it three of the season for him. And he strikes it past the goalkeeper into the back of the net. So with a little bit of fortune and after a strong start from Morton, it's Celtic who have the lead. Yeah, round about the shit well, just a little bit later than we brought the deadlock during the week. A little scary moments in our box, but yeah, we get we break the deadlock, we settle everybody down. Another well executed penalty from Aaron Moy puts it on the other side this time. Yeah, he does finish. Real chance for Kyogo. That is the second for Celtic. I was going to say no doubts about this one, but we'll, we'll hang fire just now. 20 minutes on the clock. A little mix-up, lack of concentration in the Morton players. As they try to clear, but in stepped Abada. He set up Kyogo, and it's 19 goals of the season in all competitions for our Japanese number eight. And Celtic are two up. Yeah, as you see, a, a mix-up here. Ambrose with a touch. The Celtic have to go and capitalise on the mistake. They do that. Ab Abada with a nice little weighted pass down the side. It's a heavy touch from Ambrose. And it's a cool little finish as well. The ball forward by Johnson to pick out Abada in space on this right-hand side. He's got Ambrose ahead of him. Celtic players coming back to support. Abada inside the box as Kyogo lays it back to Turnbull! It is another clinical finish from outside the box from David Turnbull. That's two and two from the Bull, and he makes it look so easy. Beautiful. Absolutely. He passes it in. Passes it low into the corner. Composure set up from Kyogo. It was a nice work move from Celtic. Anybody better round about the box and turn at the club, you know, with these kind of finishes. It's locked. That's a controlled, beautiful finish from David Turnbull. He didn't even need a touch to control it. And as you say, Simon, it was literally just a pass, but yeah. it was so accurate. Had a little bit of zip in it as well. Kyogo nipping in there. Again. That's exactly what Kyogo does. He sniffed the opportunity, and it was really just half an opportunity, but he made it count. And it brings up goal number 20 of the season for Kyogo. It's 4 0 to Celtic, and it's ruthless. Yeah, I thought they were ruthless on Wednesday night. Jerry, I was really impressed with them. This is the same again today. Just breaks them. Morton defender gets it wrong with the clearance. This guy just needs half a chance. He shifts it. It's a good finish again. James Forrest driving down the right-hand side. Low ball across, again, dealt with well by the Morton defence. Oh, 
over the top. It's a lovely pass by Bernabe. What a chance this is now. Haksabanovic. Oh, he's looking for a shot himself. He was looking to carve out the shot, but he's found Moy. Two for Moy. Five for Celtic, and finally the hoops find a way through in this second half. Yeah, and I think he's been the top performer. I think he's deserved it again. Haksabanovic has one or two efforts. I think he took too long. There was a two or three Morton players there closing it. Manages in the end to find Moy. And it's a one touch with a right and a finish with a left. I think he's had an excellent game. Does well to pick him out. Well struck. Well, he's become a scoring threat for Celtic now in the second half of this season. After two at Easter Road on the 28th of December. That's two here. Aaron Moy, it's fair to say, is loving life at Celtic. 